morning. Currently, I'm in Kuching International Airport waiting for my flight to Kuala Lumpur via Malaysia Airlines. And once I reach KLIA, I'm going to transfer over to KLIA 2 for my flight to Osaka. I'll see you again in KLIA 2 later. Hi, I'm currently at KLIA 2 waiting for my flight to Osaka. So, before I fly, I want to share something with you. So, I arrived at KLIA and then I took a free shuttle bus to KLIA 2. Then I went to collect my Wi-Fi to be used in Osaka for 9 days. This is the one. In fact, I'm using it for 8 days only but when I arrive by then, it is 29 of um, August. So I have to get it for 9 days instead of 8 days. I used this last year for my trip and it was really good. That's why I'm getting it again. If you would like to know where to get it, you can get it from Kluk. I have the link down below. Another thing is that when you reach Osaka, make sure that you get this card from the airport. If you want to go around Kansai area, it's best to get this card. I got mine last year when I went to Osaka. Once I arrived Kansai International Airport, I went to get it. All you need is just your passport. And I'm going to board my flight very soon. See you in Osaka soon. Hi, I'm currently at Kansai International Airport and heading to my hotel. Oh, damn, it's so hot. Okay, I'll see you back in the hotel. This is my second time staying at Osaka Ebisu Hotel. Make sure you book the room with futon instead of with bed. You will get your own bathroom with this room type. This type of room is limited so make sure you secure it in an instance. It is so much cheaper compared to other hotels and the location is awesome and less than 100 meters away from Ebisu Cho Metro Station. Finally, I've showered and settled down. Just now after check-in, we went out to get some food at the convenience store and then now we are going to set up the futon. It's already almost 2 a.m. in Osaka. It's time to call it a night. It's so tired. See you tomorrow. Good night. Wait, wait, not finished yet. Don't go. One more thing to share with you. Aside from the Wi-Fi and also the Kansai One Pass, do bring your big pay card if you have it. Make sure you reload it with money. You can use it anyway in Japan as long that they accept card payment. If you use big pay, there is no transaction fee to it. So you are basically paying what the actual exchange rate is for the day. If you would like to get the card, you can sign up with my referral code down there or you can use your friend's referral code for it. So that's the end of day one of my trip. Hope to see you in my next episode. Till then, see you and take care.